Hi, and welcome to cloudacademy.com's video series on hosting your WordPress site in the cloud on AWS. In this video, we'll explore cloud formation, a simple WordPress creation and hosting option. There's more than one way to set up your WordPress site. We'll discuss manually building and optimizing in other videos in this series. However, for those who may be more familiar with some simpler hosted options like WordPress.org or cPanel, AWS CloudFormation is a really competitive approach. Let's click on CloudFormation. We'll create a new stack. Let's call it MySite. We'll select a sample template. CloudFormation builds instances on templates. You can manually create your own template, but that's a, an, a whole course all by itself. You could also, however, choose pre-filled templates. You could choose templates to work on single instance samples, a rather simple website, the white, as we're going to choose this time, on Amazon RDS samples, if you increase the complexity and traffic associated with your WordPress site, you may want to use an RDS sample or highly available multiple AZ samples. We're going to choose a single instance sample and we're going to choose a WordPress, a WordPress blog. Click next. We'll enter a password. We'll stick with the M1 small instance type and we'll go next again. We could enter keys and values to increase security, but that's no, there's no need for that right now. Click on advanced and we are given notification options. We could choose to have our site update us by email on for, for specific events and alerts. We could also uh, select certain options like timeout, rollback on failure, which control how the stack actually will be built. We'll leave it as it is with no notifications and we'll click next. There's a review of our stack. Let's create it. The create seems to now be complete. This can take a good few minutes, so don't get too excited if uh, you don't see any progress for a while. Let's click on outputs. And we're given the website URL, HTTP EC2. So you see that this WordPress instance is actually being hosted on Amazon. You don't need to build your own server on EC2 or anywhere else. That's the simplicity of the process. Let's copy the URL and paste the URL into our browser. And we are actually at the WordPress setup screen. So let's choose United States English and give it a, a nice new title, my site. Give us a username, Ubuntu, enter a password and the password a second time, add a, an email. It's not my real email, but this will do. Allow search engines to index this site. Perhaps not, but normally you would like that because it does drive more traffic to the site. And install WordPress. We're in. Enter our name, Ubuntu, and our password, and log in. It's that simple. 